Alright, so a lot has happened in the past few days and one of those things is that I got a bunch of packages in the mail and I have them right over there ready to be unboxed. They are my new tarantula enclosures and I think I bought six new enclosures and then a bunch of new decorations. And speaking of new enclosures, I actually finished setting up my chameleons enclosure. It's right over there, finished with lighting and everything. So I think I'm gonna start off by showing you guys that. All right, so right here we have my chameleons new enclosure. And as you can see, it is complete with the lights up there and the timer over there. So I'll show you guys how the timer works in a little bit. Uh, we've got a little food bowl, a little water bowl. I do have a drip system. Uh, I don't have it like right now, uh, but I have a fogger as well, which I need to set that up. I might set it up like right here and then have the fog go straight into the enclosure. So maybe you'll see that in a video in the future. Another thing I have is the live plant right there. But as you can see from that example right there, I do want to fill this up with a bunch of leaves. I did buy more leaves and they're in the packages, but I don't know if I have enough leaves for the chameleon because the leaves I bought were actually intended for my tarantulas enclosures. Uh, but the next thing I wanted to show you guys was actually that timer. I did make a little switch in how this enclosure is actually set up. If you guys remember when I built this enclosure, I had the door facing this way, but now I have the door facing this way because I figured since this side is gonna be wide open, uh, I might as well just set the door up over here because you can open the door easily like that. But when I had the door over here, uh, it would bang against this pole. So it just wouldn't work like that. Right here, it works perfect. So now I want to show you guys the timer. So I have the lights on right now, but if I click this button right here, the lights turn off. Uh, this is on a timer and it's currently almost 4 a.m. So they should be off. So I'm gonna leave them off. All right, so over here you can see that I have a ton of boxes. And so most of these seem to be enclosures and then this over here seems to be uh, decorations. And this enclosure right here is the biggest of all of these. So I'm probably gonna save that one for last. And I'm also a little bit worried about this one because it's all smashed. And it's as fragile because obviously there's glass in here. So I don't know if this is going to be broken or not. All right, so let's go ahead and open the first box over here. I just really hope that none of these enclosures are cracked. Because I actually have bought one of these enclosures in the past. And it did come cracked. But luckily, the company sent a replacement. So, um... I didn't have to worry about it too much, but I really don't want it to come cracked still. Uh, let's see, it came in a bunch of wrapping. So I gotta take that off right now. Okay, now there's peanuts everywhere. All right, cool. So now I got all of that wrapping out of the way and we can take the enclosure out. It's a nice size. I think this is perfect for the size tarantulas that I have. And I got five of these of this same exact size. And I already had one of them. Uh, my Mexican red knee is in one that's this size. And I've really been liking this enclosure. And one of the things that I really like about it is that the top is a sliding top. So if I take this out, all right, so the top slides out and inside there's this little plastic that acts as a lock. So when I close it again, you just put the little plastic piece right here and now it's locked. All right, so here you guys can get a better look of what I'm talking about. This is a little plastic, and now it slides freely. And then when you wanna lock it again, all you do is you place it in here, and that's it. This type of lock really makes the cage very secure for any type of animal. 
Uh, I even used it with my Vietnamese centipede. I had it in a taller version of this. And the Vietnamese centipedes, like those guys, can escape from almost anything. And this cage really made it secure. All right, so now I'm actually gonna open the package that came damaged, and I hope that it's not broken. So, let's check this out. Right here, there is some damage, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it. I mean, judging on how the last one was packed, the packaging seemed pretty secure, so I don't think it's gonna be broken. Oh, okay, yeah. That's gonna be fun to clean later. All right, let's hope this isn't broken. All right, look, check it out. The enclosure looks fine. It's not broken. And the lock is inside. All right, this one's good. All right, so now I'm gonna quickly open up these three and then we're gonna open the big cage and the accessories I bought. All right, so these five enclosures are now unboxed and as you can see, I made a giant mess unboxing them because of these peanuts. That's crazy how many peanuts were in these boxes. I mean, there's still more in there because now we have to unbox the big enclosure. But check this out, there's so many of them. All right, so now let's get this other enclosure. I keep stepping on the bubble wrap and it keeps popping. Let's get this other enclosure ready to be unboxed. I'll kick this to the side to make it a little bit easier for me. But let's go ahead and unbox it. All right, tape is done, cut. Let's open it. And yeah, it's the same as every other enclosure I unboxed so far. Let's go ahead and Pull this out. All right, now I gotta cut all this. I was really not expecting this big of a mess, but whatever, it's worth it. All right, now that that's cut, let's open this. And they actually included a bunch of my plants in here. So then that means that the other box, which is somewhere over here, has the cork bark because I bought cork bark and a ton of leaves. So this has all the leaves and the other one has the hides. All right, so let's pick this up and I'll move it over here so we can get a better look at it. I wonder how many leaves there actually are in here. Let's see. Let's count them all one by one. We got one, two, three and I also bought different types so I think I might have bought two of each let's see four this and this are the same this one and this one are different this one matches this one okay there's one big one in here and then this one matches this one two three four five six seven and I bought six enclosures including the chameleon is seven so then that means this one's for the chameleon and then these are for the tarantulas to give you guys a size comparison of the bigger cage with the other ones they're basically the same width uh, but the height is different so i basically just needed one more of these taller cages for an arboreal species of tarantula that i have and the rest will be terrestrial tarantulas so that's pretty much it for the enclosures. All right, so now it's time to unbox the final package. What should be in here is cork bark, but I was surprised with what was inside last time. So let's see if there's anything I'm forgetting about. The thing is I ordered this uh, like three weeks ago and they were out of stock. 
with the cork bark that I wanted. So they had to send it separately. So I'm guessing this is what it is. I already see some cork bark pieces. Okay. This looks pretty good actually. Whoa, I was not expecting them to look like this, but this is actually better than what I thought. Okay. Okay. This is gonna make a pretty good hide for all my tarantulas. Cause they're small enough to where they can fit inside of this. So I think it's gonna be awesome. And how many are there? Wait, is this two? No, this is just one. This one doesn't make too good of a hide, but the other ones, like this one, or no, there's a, this one over here, this one makes a good hide. All right, so that's one, two, three, four. This is probably my favorite piece of them all. Five, six, one for each tarantula cage. All right, so now that all the new enclosures are unboxed, I wanna set them up, and my plan for the next video is to upload a tarantula feeding video showing you guys all the new cages and feeding the tarantulas inside of them. So comment the tarantulas that you guys wanna see in the next tarantula feeding video. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching.